TRT and Hormone Optimization Group. This is Justin, and thanks for tuning in again. Tonight, I want to talk about Kiss Peptin 10. Kiss Peptin 10 is being touted as a possible alternative to other fertility, fertility maintenance or fertility stimulating and or FSH, LH stimulating analogs. Oh, also, I'm just sampling a little bit of red breast tonight. I know it's a complete digression, but I just wanted to share that with y'all. Anyway, Kiss Peptin 10, let's get down to it. So, Kiss Peptin 10 belongs to a family of peptides called the Kiss Peptins. There's also a Kiss Peptin 13, a Kiss Peptin 14, and a Kiss Peptin 54. Now, Kiss Peptins have been implicated in regulating mammalian reproductive physiology. There's some studies that show that mutations of the kiss one r receptor uh, in terms of like deletions of the receptor can actually lead to reproductive abnormalities whereas upregulations of the receptor can actually lead to precocious puberty if you don't know what that is precocious puberty is when one goes through puberty much prematurely much more prematurely than they should have there's some studies that show that inactivation of the kiss one r receptor leads to failure to reach puberty in some patients also of interest in 1996 uh, kiss peptin was implicated in inhibiting metastasis of melanoma cell lines so at that time they originally coined it and refer to Kispeptin 10 as metastin. As previously mentioned, there's also Kispeptin 13, Kispeptin 14, and Kispeptin 54. Now, they each get their name or their number based on their amino acid sequence length. Kispeptin 54 appears to be the Kispeptin that provides a longer half-life and provides the patient with longer and better sustained pulses of luteinizing hormone as compared to that of kiss peptin 10. let's talk about the mechanism of action of kiss peptin 10. so kiss peptin 10 stimulates hypothalamic release of gonadotropic releasing hormone which thereby stimulates the pituitary gland to produce luteinizing hormone and to a lesser degree it'll produce follicle stimulating hormone. After administration of Kispeptin 10, luteinizing hormone starts to peak or luteinizing hormone release starts to peak in roughly 30 to 40 minutes and then returns to baseline in about 180 minutes. Now, Kispeptin 10 does stimulate the production of LH and FSH. However, it does not appear to have a great robust response in terms of producing testosterone. Interestingly enough, researchers found that Kispeptin 10 appeared to reset the pulse generation, the LH pulse generation clock in men, but not women. Researchers also identified that the amplitude of the subsequent pulses and the frequency of the pulses were more intense and they also followed a comparable time pattern as compared to that of endogenous luteinizing hormone pulses. I appreciate y'all tuning in tonight to briefly discuss Kiss Peptin 10. Thanks for following. Give us a shout out if you have any questions, we'd be more than happy to answer. We'll see y'all next time. And now give this video a thumbs up and go watch one of these videos to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization.